Hey guys, welcome to Enka Climate, a leading environmental consultancy. My name is Diksha Kehtani and I am back with a video that talks about the process to obtain MOEF permission for import of used lead acid batteries in detail. So stay tuned. A heavy metal lead finds usage in majority of things. About 70% of the lead globally is used for manufacturing lead acid batteries also known as lamps. These batteries go into power backups and automobiles. Lead acid batteries are generally preferred because these tend to be the most recyclable consumer product. Around 98% of all battery lead is recycled. On average, used lead acid batteries, also known as ULAPs, have 10.5 kg of lead. This acts as a major source of secondary lead and hence the import of lead acid batteries becomes necessary. To do so, obtaining the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change permission to import used lead acid batteries is necessary. So, now I'll be talking about the introduction of hazardous and other waste management and transboundary movement rules 2016, which is related to this topic. To promote the import of used lead acid batteries in an environmentally sound manner, MOEF came up with the HWM rules 2016. The rules place the used lead acid batteries including grid plates and other lead scraps, ashes, residues not covered under batteries management and handling rules 2001 under the list of commonly recyclable hazardous waste. Besides setting the rules and responsibilities, the rules describe the process of applying for MOEF permission. Okay, so before proceeding, let's discuss the usage of lead acid batteries. So, the heavyweight lead acid batteries are used for backup power supply for high-end servers, starting, lighting and ignition systems that are SLI of automobiles, telephone exchange, personal computers and in off-grid homes with inverters. Besides, portable emergency lights also use lead acid batteries. The rules further set the responsibilities of importers. So, as per the BWM rules, it must be the responsibility of an importer to obtain the MOEF permission for the import of used lead acid batteries. The importer must make sure that the used batteries are collected back are of the exact specification and type as that of the new batteries sold. Make sure that the used batteries collected are sent only to the registered recyclers. Ensure that necessary arrangements are made with the dealers for safe transportation to the premises of registered recyclers from collection centers. Create public awareness via publication, advertisements, posters or by means related to the details on hazardous of improper handling and disposal, accidental breakage, damage or improper recycling of batteries. The producers, including importers of batteries, are responsible for recycling, refurbishment and collection of waste batteries. Besides, EPR mandates that all waste batteries must be sent and collected for refurbishment and recycling. Environmental compensation will be levied on the principles of polluter pays principle for non-fulfillment of EPR responsibilities, targets and obligations stipulated under the rules. In addition to all this, it is a mandated responsibility of an importer, dealer, collection center and so on to ensure that no harm happens to the environment during the transportation of used batteries. Furthermore, no asset should be drained in case of import of used lead acid batteries. Now here is something strategy for import of hazardous and other weights that you must know. So to start with. The import of hazardous and other waste including used lead acid batteries from any nation will be allowed only for recovery, recycling, reuse and co-processing. No import of hazardous and other waste to India from any nation for disposal will be allowed. MOEF permission to import used lead acid batteries and other waste in part A of schedule 3 is permitted to actual users with the prior informed consent of exporting nation and will require the permission of the ministry. So now let's talk about the procedure to obtain the desired permission. Step 1. To obtain the permission, actual users must apply for form 5. The required documents must accompany the application to the ministry for suggested import and the prior informed consent of the exporting nation. Step 2. 
post the 73rd meeting of the expert committee all applications seeking import or export at authorizations must be submitted online this must be done through the ministry's waste management portal step 3 the user must submit a copy of the application simultaneously to the concerned spcb for details moreover the acknowledgement regarding this from the concerned spcb must be submitted along with the application to the ministry however the application must be submitted before the commencement of the scheduled meeting of the expert committee first time applicants must attend the ec meeting for a technical discussion step 4 Upon receiving the complete application the ministry then examines the application and may grant the permission for import within 2 months but this is possible only if the importer has adequate arrangements for the disposal and treatment of waste generated the environmentally sound facilities prior informed consent from the exporting nation in case of part a of schedule 3 waste and a valid authorization and consent form from spcb step 5 includes ministry also forwards a copy of the permission to specific ports and custom authorities cpcb and spcb to ensure compliance regarding their specific functions mentioned in schedule 7 step 6 if any other document or clarification is needed ec notifies the document insufficiency this document must be submitted online step 7 after this the ec notifies the schedule for online meeting with the applicants step 8 the applicant invited for the presentation must ensure their presence within two subsequent meetings of the ec step 9 later the committee decides whether or not to inspect the applicant's premises a further decision is also made on whether to conduct the inspection online or physically step 10 once the inspection decision is made the ministry notifies the instruction to the cpcb of the same the cpcb may in return instruct the spcb to perform the said inspection step 11 after the four mentioned process the ministry will either issue noc for importing lead acid batteries or reject the application after offering the reasons for this in writing the applicant can apply for the same again later on step 12 the importer must maintain records of the hazardous and other waste imported in form 3 the records so maintained should be made available for inspection Step 13 the port and custom authorities must ensure that the movement document in form 6 accompanies the shipment thus the import of used lead acid batteries in india is allowed only to registered recyclers this is to the extent 1/3 of the recycling capacity but all this is possible subject to they are obtaining the moef permission to import used lead acid batteries so this was all about the topic keep coming back to our channel for more informative content Also don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe our channel before leaving. In case of any queries feel free to contact us on the details shown below. Thank you.